What does a care home and an airline have in common? They both want total and absolute control over what their staff do. Howdy everybody, welcome back to the channel for a Thursday afternoon and my hot car. Well, stories like this really piss me off and the pure and simple fact for that is that you've got these companies dictating what people do with their own health and well-being and it's really not on. It skirts so far close to human rights laws and everything else, it's unbelievable. Check this out. Yes, air crew in Cathay Pacific are being told get the jab by the end of August or you could lose your job. Exactly the same things going on with the airlines as going on with the care homes. And yet again, I stress this is bang out of order. There are people out there, like it or not, that won't have it rather than have it. And you're putting them in a position where they will walk away from a career and walk away from a job. They're being forced to. And this in a time where a lot of airlines have got their staff furloughed, having difficulty putting on flights in the first place, things getting shifted around, and now you're putting another obstacle in the way, saying that if you don't have this, then you're out of a job. Yet again, constructive dismissal in my book. I know Cat Cathay Pacific's based uh, overseas rather than the UK, but it's still the same principle. Who the hell do these companies think they are telling us people what we do and don't do with our own bodies it's absolutely despicable is it me let me know what you think in the comments let's get some opinions going on this anyway i'm going into tesco's to do a little bit of shopping and i'll see you in a little while with the next one toodaloo